Hello, this is Chaudhry Mahmood Anwar. Welcome back to my research and statistical education channel. Today I am going to brief you on a very important topic I have been encountering over my research career many times. So the topic is outdated literature review. You know that literature review is an essential component of a research and whenever you report your research and write a research article, literature review is a very significant component. Your literature review should be up to date. It should reflect current position on your topic. Mean whatever the hypothesized relationships are should represent the current understanding about the topic and it should be unbiased and it should be helpful to propose theoretical relationships among variables. All those relationships you are hypothesizing in your research. Today I will provide a sample article to let you know that what is the main issue of outdated literature and how you will avoid the outdated literature review while writing your research paper. For this lecture, I have selected uh, an instance of outdated literature review and that article was published in Strategic Management Journal which is published by Strategic Management Society in association with Wiley Online Publishing. This journal is uh, indexed in Social Science Citation Index, a product by Clarivate Analytics with an impact factor of 7.815 for 2021. As far as Scopus is concerned, this journal is a Q1 Scopus journal. Here is the article. The title of the article is The Geography of Female Small Business Survivorship Examining the Roles of Proportional Representation and Stakeholders. This article was received to the journal on 10th of November 2019. So it means that the article should present the latest literature review and the latest literature for this article consists of the articles published from 2015 to articles published in 2019. I have included 2019 because authors finished that article might be in uh, September, October and submitted the article to the journal uh, in November 2019. My overall observation is the literature review of this article is outdated. Authors didn't provide complete picture because literature from 2015 to 2019 are missing in hypothesis development. So let's go straightly to the hypothesis development. This is the section 2.3.2 stakeholders. Hypothesis was not proposed by citing the latest literature from 2015 to 2019. In addition, no theoretical support was provided for hypothesized relationship. 2010 was the last year the author cited while this study was completed in November 2019. The authors missed important literature. For instance, Beldan Cabrer Borres 2018, Salesvik et al. 2019, etc. The second section is Banks. The authors completely failed to provide latest picture of the research and theoretical support. Nothing has been cited from 2015 to 2019 in this section. Next is 2.3.4 Customers. Literature depicting latest situation on the topic was not cited at all. Citations from 2015 to 2019 are totally missing. And the last one is 2.3.5 Networking Opportunities. The hypothesized relationship was not developed by citing the related literature and providing the theoretical support. Only three articles were cited from last five years not relevant 
to the hypothesized relationship. So you can study this article by your own to get an exact idea about my observations on the outdated literature review. In this article, the authors totally missed the picture presented by literature from 2015 to 2019. Always remember, if you are using certain theories, which are of course old because theories are not de novo, and you have to develop theories by citing the, the old theories, of course. This is a standard. But in this article, you can say, for instance, stakeholders, banks, customers, networking opportunities are very common topics. So it is hard to believe that nothing was published relating to these variables from 2015 to 2019. So this is very important to understand that you have to provide complete picture that should be unbiased whenever conducting a literature review. And second, you have to root your hypothesized relationships in a theory. So that's it from me. I hope you will understand this, that how to conduct a nice up-to-date literature review. Always use the latest literature from the credible sources published in last five years. I'm not saying that only use the literature that was published in last five years. No, I'm not saying this. But in developing your hypothesized relationships, you must provide a picture on your hypothesized relationships using your variables that what is the position of current literature on your relationships. Of course, you are testing some new relationships. For instance, you are testing a new mediator, you are testing a new moderator, or you are extending an already developed theoretical framework. But you have to provide a logic from the latest literature to justify your hypothesized relationships. Thank you very much for attending me today. Are you tired of rejection of your academic scholarship? Submit your research to International Journal of Management, Economics and Social Sciences. With us, you will experience a reputable publishing platform that will guarantee high quality peer review. Our unique mentorship program enables you to develop your research to increase the chances of publication. Our editors are eminent researchers who will provide the much needed impetus for your academic works. Visit www.ijms.com and get your work published.